connector is up here. I'm just going to slide the connector out of the bracket. I'm just going to push it up. It should slide out. Just like that. Then you can access the clip. Just push down the release and slide it off. And slide it up. Now I'm going to use an O2 sensor socket. You could also use a 7 8 wrench or a 22 millimeter. Slide this on and loosen it up. All right, loosen that up. Once you get it started, you should be able to do it by hand. And it slides right out. I'm just gonna use a pull jack and just support the rest of the exhaust. When we disconnect this right here, this will drop a little bit, so just so it doesn't fall. That's good. We're gonna take these two nuts off. Um, if your vehicle is not as rusty as this, you should be able to take these off with a 13 millimeter socket. Uh, this vehicle is in pretty rusty, so we're going to have to cut these off. Separated. It should be easier than that if it's not too rusty. Now we're going to take this bar down. We're going to use a 13 millimeter wrench over this bolt. There is a nut. Use a 13 millimeter socket underneath. Take that out. And this one as well. Now we're gonna take the two 15 millimeter bolts out, use a 15 millimeter socket. Make sure you support the exhaust when you take this out, otherwise it will fall. And slide the whole exhaust down. Just taking the gasket off of here. I am going to punch these studs out. Um, if your studs are okay, you can leave those in. Watch out for that. I'm just going to clean up this area. Use a wire brush or even a grinder. Just if you're using a grinder, just be careful. Don't take off too much material. We're going to transfer this plate over to the new exhaust. So set it up next to each other so it's the same direction. Use a 13 millimeter socket. We'll take one of these off. Take that nut off. You don't, you don't have to take both of them off. You can slide this over. If you have one of these tools, you want to use that. It's just to press the, the mount off. Just makes it a little easier. You could just try to grab it and walk it off. And then we'll switch this over to the new one. That doesn't come off too hard. There and right there. Take the nut, get it started, and then snug it down. Now let's put this gasket up, 
put that on. And we're gonna line the exhaust up up front. Just take one of the nuts, get that started. Just so that doesn't fall. And we'll line it up in the back. And put the nut on. Get that started as well. Put the other nut on. Before I tighten this down, I'm just gonna put this bracket up. Put the two, two larger bolts on the outside. And two smaller ones on the middle. And we can tighten these down. Just snug those down. Same with the bigger ones. Good. I'm gonna tighten these nuts up. I had to replace the studs, so I have a nut and bolt going through it. So you wanna tighten those up. Good. Now I can lower the pole jack. It's a little bit easier to take this plug out if you did this on the ground, but if you didn't, it's okay. Use an eight millimeter hex socket, and this is in there pretty loose, so you wanna take that out. If you didn't have a O2 sensor going in here, you wanna make sure you snug that down either way. So take that out. Uh, take the O2 sensor and get it started. Make sure you start it by hand. And take the socket, line it up. You want to snug this down. If you can get a torque wrench in here, you want to torque this to 31 foot-pounds. A little bit tight, do the best you can. That's good. Now we're gonna plug in the O2 sensor, line it up with the plug. Oops. I'm gonna go this way. And lock it down. And you can slide it into the bracket. Just like that. The excess wire, I'm just gonna wire tie this to the wire loom slightly above it. Just use a wire tie. And it can just be loose, it doesn't have to be tight. You can trim the excess. That's just gonna make it so that the excess doesn't fall down and hit the axle by accident. 